Hello everyone and welcome to Skylar Bricks. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make a Lego washing machine. So before we start, I really have some cool news, which is my last three videos have been going above 300 views, which is really exciting. That shows that I'm, I'm being watched by so many more people than I started off with. I remember just having like one viewer, even though the video has been up for like one month, I used to have just one view on one video. So it's really cool that we're having some progress which is really cool so that's what i want to say i want to say thank you to everyone who's watching and the next thing i want to say is before we continue on with the garage build i just wanted to show you guys how to make a washing machine i know there's a bunch of different designs and there's a bunch of videos about it but i wanted to show you uh, how to do it as well i mean it's nothing really different but i just want to show you and in the next video we'll be continuing on with the garage because i'm trying to get some parts and uh trying to make some accessories for the inside of the garage so we can just continue on with our washing machine. So first of all what you want to get is a 3 by 3 plate. I mean I don't know if they're really rare but I only have like two of them so it was just enough for this build. And next you just want to add a couple of studs at the bottom. Four studs so it doesn't really... Uh, if you place the plate on straight away like this, it's going to be really hard for you to take it off. So just put it on studs or maybe jumper plates or something like that. So next, what you want to do is just get, uh, you could get a three by three, but I ran out of one. This was like my last one. So I'm going to use that on the top of the machine. So we can just place uh, this two by, I don't know what this is. I mean, it's just a corner piece. So just, just think it's a corner piece. And then we can just get, a two by one right here and add a three by one right here so we've got this empty space in the middle which isn't really that important and then we can just come here and add the three by two brick and just add it right here so next we're going to add in a snot brick onto the side right about here i use this because i'm going to add a dial onto it and I just want it to be like a little bit more inside than sticking out too much. Because if I use this usual uh, snot brick, not the one that is like a reduced one, like a little bit it's shorter inside, you can see that. If I use that, it's going to be a bit more outside, pointing out too much. And I don't really want that. But we add this other snot brick there. And we just place this in the middle, a single stud, a single brick, sorry. So next we can add our dial, which I'm just using this. It's nothing uh, special really. So for the washing machine's uh, door, I'm just going to use this, pre uh, this piece right here. You could use white. It doesn't matter. It's up to how you want to make it. I'm using black because uh, I don't want it to be completely white machine. You could make it like light gray. The machine at our house is light gray, uh, but I made it white uh, just because usually they're white colored and stuff. So, And then we can just add on our last plate to the top and that will be our washing machine. It's pretty cool. I really like it. I mean, there's only one in my laundromat, but it's not really a big deal. There are better builds, like I said, and you probably could improve this so much better than I did. This is just me doing, well, it was me doing a laundry uh, thing, a washing machine, when I had limited pieces, limited parts. So that's what I could come up with. Anyway, so of course we're going to need like uh, detergent, washing powder and stuff like that. Fabric softener or whatever you call it. So this could be like a washing powder box, a really uh, dark blue color and a white cap it has and you can just place it on top there and then you can have this maybe this is a fabric softener it's quite hard to see it's a purple colored uh, light pieces at the bottom two of them stacked on top of each other and we've got this uh, tile piece on top we can just place that on the side and that's pretty much it and that's how you make a washing machine thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week when we're going to be building the garage